on the last episode of the Loaded Dice Rollers. Uh, 32 minus 5. Oh, oh is it? Shoot. Earthquake. A world record was set by a guest player. Like D E E dead. Oh, God. D-E dead. In one round, someone lost four characters that they were playing in one round. <laughs> four. Your whole staff is dead, including that guy you couldn't stand. <laughs> He had a family. Without any Sherpas, the group's guide did the best he could to get the fellowship closer to Belmar's keep. One of the beasts got Thurman. High in the northern Tusk mountain range. The two yetis, one of whom's on the opposite side. I call it a yeti hug. <laughs> <laughs> and a yeti couple attempted to eat the wizard. Fumble. A fumble. A one. You have the chance of a lifetime to get the f*** away from a Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> they surprised us, like, one in the front and one behind. Took apart most of our, like, hired help. And, uh, <laughs> they dropped four of our henchmen and other fleeing. Just as Orok thought he could catch the remaining Yeti, he befriended a powerful ally. I do my charm spell. It's a DC 21 will save. Okay, it doesn't make it. Where's the Yeti, girl? Go get him. <laughs> Plus 10. This week, there are no guest players. I am ghost. <laughs> Just cuts off a toe. <laughs> no sub Institutions. No. <laughs> Welcome back, all of the loaded dice rollers. Sorry. Donad, help me. <laughs> On the fellowship now known as the Fellowship of Something Stupid. Nice. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, Here we are. So random. <laughs> so random. We are back. And you know, we had a conversation with our lawyers uh, this last week, and they wanted us to play this uh, this little warning before we. Get into things. Sorry, guys. We'll be right back. The following is an audio warning. Do not use power tools while listening. Do not super glue your headphones to your ears. Do not listen in front of minors. Do not place your phone or tablet in the washer. Do not drop in the toilet, swim in the pool, or even dunk in the hot tub. Ask your doctor if loaded dice rollers is right for you. If you're experiencing a boring commute or a lull at home or even in the yard, perhaps at the gym or even just hanging out, the loaded dice rollers podcast might be right for you. Side effects of the loaded dice rollers podcast, while uncommon, may include headache, nausea, vomiting, death, dizziness, vaginal ejaculations, dysentery, cardiac arrhythmia, mild heart explosions. While listening, some people experience varicose veins, darkened stool, darkened soul, more vomiting, hemorrhoids, diabetes, Virginity, mild discomfort, vampirism, so spontaneous long. dental hydroplosion, high sugar levels, and even more vomiting and wild rashing. If you experience any of these side effects, please talk to your psychologist. Please talk to your doctor about listening to the Loaded Dice Rollers podcast. Wow. And wow. It, the how much material, dice rollers how much material have they written? What have we done? Wow. I think we're covered. We're <laughs> much yeah. Anybody get venereal disease from that? Oh, well, I was wondering why I was itching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Most healthcare plans will address this, right? I think so. Uh, I think so. Yes. Loaded <laughs> dice roller uh, back scratchers. They're going to you know, be on nice. the market soon. Those are huge. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. Wow. Now that we have that out of the way, we can actually play. <laughs> so uh, that was a nice catch up and some legal notice that we had to put in there. Uh, <laughs> so we find ourselves today on the map. We're just going to get right into it. We're... You guys continued up your way. Ghosh is actually here. We, we lied about guest players. Ghosh. I'm still here, my friends. Nice. <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on? <laughs> that seek that man over there. Remember? Yeah. I take tips when this uh, journey's over. Did we bring the wolf? Uh, the wolf lasted for an hour. So this, you guys traveled for three weeks. And we've had like four encounters. So did he, did he try to rip off Kurt's face after that? You know what we should do? Thank you for reminding me. Is oh. is we should roll for survival checks. Oh, this is one that check. Like a terrible idea. This is one check to see if you guys have survived this well Uh-oh. or not. And I'm gonna make it difficult because you guys have climbed above the cloud layer at this point, and Ghosh is about to say, "My job is over." It's over there. And uh, so everybody do a survival check. We're going to roll d d20. Oh, boy. You're going to add your survival. Which is a big plus is, four is, for is me. Is this a subsist? Mm. Or is this a survival? No, this is all survival. I don't see survival. Uh, oh. It's towards the bottom. I have a 21. No, I know, but like on the actual survival. That's a fail. Oh, no. Well, a then fail? I, I'm real f***ed. I got a 14. 30 for Thurman. 24. Thurman's what fine. What the hell? <laughs> 17 plus 13. Wow, Thurman. 24. Are you Bear Grylls over it. there? No, Bear no, no. Grylls but I, grew up, I grew up in the mountains. Oh, that, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. Oh, mountain type. All right, all right. 30. All right. He's, He's a, a mountain mountain man. Man. Mountain man. Great, so you can carry my limp frostbitten body, apparently. What? what? <laughs> Take a number. <laughs> Why did you pause I, after limp? It was very dramatic. Very dramatic pause. Yeah, so I got a 14. I love this. Everybody's back, and we're having fun already. So, Kurt, what did you... Well, I, I have a new skill called Forager. It's yeah. a, it, while using survival to subsist. No, because, like, like, even when I... Like, <laughs> no matter what I do, I can't, I can't lose. So, but I don't, I don't know the rules. It's like a, it's like a new thing in this Pathfinder. Well, know. Forager would I'd mean... I'd say use that one. <laughs> it, yeah. it, it, it would mean that you could find food, but you've been creating the food since he the... He does create food, oh, too. Oh, yeah. He, so is it just for cold? 
Yeah, basically. Oh. It's it's pretty <laughs> cool. Low low oxygen, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Right, so that was a 16 plus. Looks pretty good. 12. Oh, oh yeah. God, what are you nice. worried about? Nice job. <laughs> um, uh, oh, we should mention, this is a special night play at McLeod. We're in Lost Souls Tavern. Don't tell anybody. It's a speakeasy. So if everybody knew about it, it wouldn't be a speakeasy. But nobody right? knows about it. Don't tell them the password. Don't tell them that. We'll, we'll edit this and in post. <laughs> my friend Eric said yeah. he had to get Beep. a kidney to get in. So That's right. He's he here. <laughs> Scars yeah. and everything. And it was good, too. <laughs> <Taste fun>. <laughs> <laughs> You'll send everyone to give that back. Wait, you know, uh, we should know the original recording date of this is the 3rd, but the 2nd of January is a really important date. It's a birthday. Do we know why, listeners? Yeah, oh. there's a birthday. Do we is it know so. oh, it's I, rock. I think we need to sing happy birthday. Wow. Wow. We need to take time. You ready? Time One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. All right, everybody, birthday. everybody cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah. Half more yeah. 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 hate Yay. 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 Nice. Half more hate Thank celebrating you. birthdays. Hey, Val's uh, watching our live <laughs> video. Yeah, Hi, salute, 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 salute. Nice. We are the Loaded Dice Rollers Jenny. podcast. Yeah. Jenny, there they are over there. It's, a, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It is Friday night. <coughs> so smooth. Oh well, and we just lost our GM. Oh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I'll be going level two. Hey, do you want to switch to this skirt behind you? <laughs> oh. I could use a kilt. It's actually. not a skirt. It's a kilt. Wait. What? Whoa. Yeah. It's well, a lot of. Well, there's stuff under that kilt. It's a lot of just stuff. Killed him already. He's. You know. That's what we call oh. Vermont style. Oh God. Vermont. What? Style. Do you guys know what a merkin is? Yes. Oh, I sure do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. <laughs> do you have one? I can neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Let's just get right into gameplay. We know we love it here. We're at a strange night at McLeod's Friday night, and we are live, and you guys have climbed up above the clouds in the Tusk Mountain Range where your guide, Gosh has led you successfully thus far. Thanks, Gosh. You want to go over there. My journey is done. <laughs> and before you, before you go, he asks all of you. Your blue, Tyler, the Tacoma. You got a blue. Nobody wow. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Alistair. Hey, by the way, we are sponsored by McLeod Ale. These guys <laughs> rock. If you're, if you're literally in Van Nuys or in L.A., in you have got to come down. They're, the beer is just freaking out of here. The pizzas. I mean, I know we brag about this a lot, but oh my god, you just got to make it down here. The ambiance. By the way, I'm on a diet. I'm not supposed to eat pizza, but I but break this, it <laughs> just <laughs> for these nights. And Kurt's in good shape, so that's that's saying uh, a lot. That's of not. I mean, come he's, on. he's disciplined. Let's not get crazy. I'm so one of the man. best breweries in LA for a reason. By the way, back to the game. We know Mel is filming live. Thank you, Mel. Everybody, roll a d20. What? And if er- anybody has a history skill of, oh. it's just called history. A knowledge check. Uh, I don't even have it on the list. No. Yeah. Okay. Lore, lore, you mean? Lore or no? History. No, we don't have a history skill. <clears throat> All right. This is where I the star. So it's just the highest. Lore. It's fine. All right. What, what's our modifier? Uh, your intelligence. Oh, oh that sucks. okay. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> I say the wizard's got it. I but... got a natural 20. Oh! Because your modifier wasn't going to work. And my intelligence Done. is going to be a plus two. <laughs> I got a 15. 15? I got a 14. Plus well, unfortunately, three. I think, well, I, unfortunately for Mel, I think she got it's a natural yeah. 20. She got a star. Yeah. Yeah. The, first, the very star first star, star card. card. Brought to you by Star Cards. Yeah, lo- loaded dice rollers, <laughs> star card. There's so cool. Star I, I want to create something where, you know, our, our <laughs> listeners buy star cards and then they uh, destroy them. So they have to buy more. So <laughs> at the end of the game, we just rip them up. Uh, if you lost, you just get mad like you're at the uh, track and you're like, damn it. You just rip it up. All proceeds go to charity. Bold, yes. <laughs> yeah. Un- un- until we have enough money that we can, mm-hmm. all proceeds go to charity. It's expensive. It is. <laughs> so, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't but we love you for charity. buying star cards if you have bought star cards. If you haven't bought star cards and Im- implemented them into your play, mm-hmm. really big mistake. So here's what Mel learns. Here's her history check. I'm going to have to mute everybody. A brief history. Many millennia ago, the first giants sent their worst criminals to live in the area of the range called Nona. In giant, it loosely translates as the banished nothing. A glacier atop of the Nona peak makes for extreme difficult terrain. Giants that were exiled there by their tribes sometimes attempted to maneuver over the mountains to meet certain death by survival. 
Eventually, humanoid barbaric clans of the Plains of the Mammoth Lords defeated clan after clan of giants, driving them as well into the mountains to feud with their exile kin. The Pathfinder Society speculates the giants fought for centuries for dominance, but took advantage of their isolation and forbidding terrain to forge a new nation far from interference of smaller races. In reality, the Frost Giant's kingdom is little more than a loose confederacy of tribes. The giants built forts of stone and ice to jealously guard their hoardings. At times, the tribes met to trade goods and arrange marriages, but as often as not, they clashed over territory and treasure. Your guide, Ghosh, has been very good about spotting and avoiding these areas that contain any trace. However, in the direct route to Belmar's Keep, you must pass by Koenig, an abandoned town where the frost giant homes have eroded away. Only a few of the enormous foundations of stone stand as a reminder to what once was. A few, however, today survive, engulfed in glaciers, as the ice thaws, old ruins are revealed, opening up avenues of exploration or unleashing forgotten horrors. This town has most likely been destroyed by seismic activity, or something more horrific. The mountains rise on either side of the large canyon, carved by glaciers. Koenig peeks from the clouds below into a permanent sunshine, void of noise like a muffled, eerie silence. Strange fauna decorate the ice and rock here, mostly sharp and thick. The air is arid and dry. Wow. Thank you for whoever read that. That's amazing. So that's what you learned with your history check. A little bit about the area. <clears throat> What's this about forgotten horrors? <laughs> Forgotten horrors. Hey, oh. horrors. Horrors. <laughs> Spencer, I wasn't paying attention. Could you replay that? Uh, yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> too yeah. busy. We'll just cut it out of the edit. You'll have to listen to the, uh, to the podcast, I guess. And then there's another star to be earned with a geography check. Does anybody have geography? Uh, can I include real world uh, geography skill? Or <laughs> no, what is it will. Well. And, and this would be a wisdom modifier if nobody has it. Uh, 13 plus 4. Wow, it's 17. Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, I got a pretty good wisdom. Let's see this. Okay, here's the second star card of the evening. Yeah, I got a 13. <clears throat> Six. I got an eight. Come on, give me a star <laughs> card. Oh, like star it, did card. Kurt, to... Kurt want it? Oh. Hey, I think, right? No. Don't, don't. Nine. One? Yes. Nine. Oh. Nine. <laughs> right on. That's That's German. German. Boy. All right. These are good-looking cards. Oh, and look at this. We have... We have another thing to play, I guess. Uh, sorry, guys. I guess this is a lot of the playing. geography. The mountain range known as the Tusk Mountains are some of the most forbidding on the continent and rise like a grand forest of great swords in the northern realms of the Mammoth Lords. Exploration has long been discouraged by civilized and even barbaric races because there are too many monstrous denizens to make any such expedition a hazardous prospect at best. While naturally, the northern peaks offer slim chance of survival it's also home to frost giants and jarls that once roamed the plains below centuries ago. While it's known that some of its summits exceed 12,000 feet, the fog and cloud make it difficult to tell exactly how tall some rise. Those explorers who've made it back record sun above the clouds. The sun above the clouds, that's where you guys are. Nice. And that's where you guys find yourself. Well, hold on, I think we left out the most important part of mm. the history of the Tusk Mountains. Yes. That Uncle Walrus is called Uncle Walrus because of his handlebar mustache, resembling tusks like the Tusk Mountains. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> oh, I don't get it. <laughs> no, do I. I was, I was trying to decide whether this is like, did he grow them because of the Tusk Mountains, or is this just an elaborate, like... It's a chicken or the egg type of situation. Your teeth are smaller than mine. I don't <laughs> understand what the problem is. <laughs> well, that is a question for you guys to figure out why his tusks... How many tusks do you have there? I have some. <laughs> Enough. Which you? I have more than he does. Well, <laughs> she is prettier. She is prettier. <laughs> she is a uh, half orc. Tusk, tusk. Whoa. That was way loud. <laughs> that is haunted past music again. We love that music. Oh. And uh, so, yeah, you guys have climbed above the sun layer, kind of like the voiceover said. And Ghosh, the cloud layer, and Ghosh says, That's where you want to go, my friends. And he points you in a direction, and it splits into these two cavernous, it's like a plateau with these walls that we have here go mile high. They're huge, oh, wow. and it's a, it's a rift in the glacier, and you can kind of see 
some structures obviously abandoned probably even with the the numbest of roles frost giant homes or structures that they had built a long time ago been kind of pulled into the ice and you know that's where you are Eugenie shivers and he's not sure whether it's because of how high in the clouds we are or because of the well atmosphere or like thereof put it Did that you f- way who, who, who failed their uh, survival checks by the way I didn't oh okay sorry oh boy we're not two, surprised two, two made it right you two I made it this time yeah. those that failed you're, you're suffering from severe hypothermia great at Christ. this point <clears throat> and that has some conditions uh-huh. you're cold First of all. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect, that's it? Okay, great. (laughs) And Mel, you you survived the check, yes? Yeah, I exceeded. And and who would, if you could assist somebody in warming up by hugging them, would that be your brother or who would that be? I think we know the answer to that. (laughs) It would be my brother. (laughs) Such family (laughs) devotion. Really, at the end of the day. What did you roll? That you can add a bonus. Was he fine? Like, oh, oh, you're fine. Oh, she just plus twelve. Okay, so if you I had a difference else. between the two. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, plus twelve. Yeah, plus you, 12. yeah. Okay, so he is fine. So it's yeah. between these two. Bullshit. Uncle Walrus and um, his City. buddy Eugene. No matter how much ale I drink, I will not warm up. He Hold seems on. fine. I'm gonna go with Uncle Walrus. Yay! Mm, interesting choice. <laughs> not, uh, <laughs> I'm happy, but I will also note that as a trained medicine man, basically for all intents and purposes, a battle medic. Um, I mean, I'm an expert in medicine, mm. so I mean, I can patch up wounds and help people recover from diseases and poisons. I don't know if this is really a disease, but it's a condition. Maybe not. I think I'm stretching. That's all right. I'll shut up now. <laughs> you, can just, you, you can just talk me, Viv. Everybody Viv hugs uh, me and I'm happy. Thurman's, Thurman's going to walk over to Eugenie, and he's going to do the trick that uh, uh, Walrus and Eugenie <laughs> first saw him do when they With first that met. Does uh, involve butt stuff? He's going right up your butt. butt. Oh, it's, oh, it should be me to it. He's going to twist his hands around, and, and a Uh-oh. flame is going to appear. Around and as butt? he pulls Eugenie in, From this should where? keep you warm, my friend. <laughs> and then he's I going to lend the heat to Eugenie. And he lights Eugenie. his pants on fire. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. <laughs> I thank you very much. He's, he's, he's very, very good. It has stopped major shrinkage in the past. <laughs> what do you mean shrinkage? I, I, I don't think I want to know. But thank you. All right. And as he does that, <clears throat> so I will and say- the half orcs like throw their hands up and keep walking. Yeah. Everybody make a perception check, please. Okay. Oh, Jesus, I need to burn this day. Yeah, what's going on tonight? 31. 26. Wow. Jesus. 20 for me. Good Lord. Uh, you set the you set 13. the difficulty of five, right? Kurt, I guess you you're the highest. Uh, anybody over twenty would probably see this thing. Twenty seven. Twenty six. You see a small winged creature about uh, if, if if the wings came like if you're measuring them on the dwarf, they would probably cover the whole dwarf. Mm. But to a human or half orc, it wouldn't even come up to about here. Mm-hmm. That's the wing base. The body itself is about you know as big as your thigh. Where is it? off in the distance about 90 feet I cast earth bind what's that it'll bring it to the ground oh it went into the ice oh. you saw it come out of the ice and then it went in oh like shoots up and like cracks back down yeah okay. but you That's didn't cool. see the ice splinter uh, cool hmm. All right, I, uh, so I don't cast earth bind. Thur- Thurman <laughs> Thurman looks at Lola on his shoulder oh, Lola go and take a closer look of that thing we just saw <laughs> Eugenie looks at him. Closer thing at what? Yeah, did you have a good perception? Yeah, 26. Oh, okay. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Sure. I'm going to send her high. Oh. So she's <clears throat> high, but, you know. How high? Goodbye, bird. <laughs> How high? <laughs> she's going to go, she's going to fly up, say, to about 80 feet and kind of scout that area and over where they were and then fly back to me. Okay. And what's different about where you guys have arrived as before in the Tusk Mountains, the last week you've been in this area, is there's no clouds. There's no, you would think they were Smoky Mountains, and all of a sudden you reach this higher rim of the mountain, and it's, it's very dry. Chap lips if you failed that survival check. Ugh. <clears throat> oh, the worst. <laughs> and The worst. <laughs> And everything is a weird, awkward silence. Like, literally, if you drop a stone, there's just no reverb. There's nothing for it to bounce off of. And so Tom sends his bird into the 
And she's cold resistant. 80 feet up. She's cold <clears throat> resistant and, you know, she's metal. She's, she's a, a robot. She's a robot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Robo bird. Bye, daddy. <laughs> Do you know what her AC is? Yeah, she has a really good AC, actually. <laughs> good thing. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, good she's bye, father. Good as cold father. as it is up here, I don't think she's going to need AC. But, I mean... Uh, she's, like got eight, eight, dun, dun, she's got dun. a nine, Lola's on this class is 19. incredibly high, but I don't think that's going to prevent her from dying. My Lola. Nice. She's got a 19 uh, AC. Okay, so tags her. Oh, oh well, geez. that's nice. I like how we cut straight can, back. Can we see this? What's, ten, what, what's going ten on? Ten point, you see a, an arrow that's not really, it's shaped like an arrow, but it, it looks like oozing like acid, and it Ooh. goes thunk right into her. She okay. takes 10 points of damage. Uh-oh. And oh, this is how but far acid away? arrow, uh, Brett, get me if I'm wrong, you get uh, the damage. 1d6 plus persistent, right? It's just one but the persistent the happens time. in the same round? He's yeah. looking it up. How she's, far away was this? She's, she's 80 in the air, and about 90 that way. All right. Uh, can I cast Fleet Step on my sister? What'd you cast? Fleet Step. Fleet step, yeah, sure. All right, I'll give All you right. that. And Has let's let's brother- just uh, let's have everybody roll initiative. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And we're using perception for initiative this time. Yeah. Okay. Because you just saw it. Ooh, that's looking good. Oh yeah, thirty for me. Yeah, everyone. Eighteen. Uh, nice. initiative. <laughs> Brett's got, got a lot 30? to do. <laughs> Brett, Brett's like looking up a what? spell, <laughs> and, and Ghost is like, "Hey, good luck with that," Uncle- and he bails. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Brett, <laughs> Uncle Walrus got the thirty. Okay. I got a 30 as well. <laughs> Eugenia has 26. Mm. 26. All right. And Tom? So it's uh, 16 plus, plus 13, 30 so to your movement. 29. How do you, how do you need tiebreakers? 30. Hey, Spencer, how do you need tiebreakers in the Pathfinder? That last uh, minute. One who, minute. Who was okay, cool. uh, who tied? Um, I guess uh, Uncle Walrus and Orok. Okay. Uh, Orok first. Okay. Orok. Well, that just sounds <laughs> arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to appeal to the <laughs> Rules Commission on that. <laughs> I'd li- I'm lodging a, an Where official appeal. <laughs> well, who has the higher initial, like the bonus? Who's the higher bonus? Plus 14. I have a plus 14 18. also. Oh, 18 God. on. Oh, no. All right. It's got to roll again then. You guys got to do a roll off. Okay, yeah, roll off. I think let's, that's let's fair. Let's call Mr. Icy. He got 18. Okay. Thir- I got a nat 20. Ooh. Whoa, mm. you win then. I got a 13. Mm. Yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. So starting off the round, it's Uncle Walrus, then Orock. So you see this acid arrow come Thurman, out of the ice and Eugenie, just thunk, Mel, right into cool. Lola. Eugenie's right before <clears throat> me. Uh, Mel, you're last except for the monster. Perfect. So again, I'll take it. Uncle Walrus, <laughs> Orock. That was surprisingly <laughs> like <laughs> Eugenie, <laughs> Mel, bad boy. Okay. Bad boy. Bad boy. All right, so I kind of uh, tenderly kind of... But by the way, are you guys being stealthy? What... <clears throat> Let, let me know a little bit. This is a new landscape. You're seeing like these sort of monolithic structures. Uh, I mean, the base of a frost giant's home, even if it is washed away hundreds of years ago, is still giant. I mean, the bricks are like your size. Yeah, we're pretty awestruck, I would so think. So how, how are you approaching this? I mean, he just kind of flew the bird off. I mean, you, how, what are you guys doing? I think I think the moment that so I mean because as far as we knew to begin with we were up here like alone or at least weren't anticipating uh, visitors so I think I think what would happen for you Jenny is the moment that he sees that acid arrow flying to the air is he would like try to duck half duck for cover but also like try to duck into <laughs> stealth just you know <laughs> until he can figure out what that came from still coughing up the whiskey. Oh God! <laughs> nice. All right, looks like Thurman's gonna have to take over. All right, but how are you guys okay. doing that? Are you doing it quietly? Are you? I mean, was it snow up here? What is? What's the terrain like? No, it's super arid and quite eerily like quiet. Dry. Yeah, like, like the rocky. This, it's. I don't a light, know. A light dusting. Of snow? How many people have been to the top of a volcano in in uh, Maui? Well, right? look at you. It becomes like a weird, desolate. Mars. Void of sounds, like Mars. But even if you've been up at Big Bear, like in when it's like this cold, like what you're yeah. playing in the background yeah. now too, yeah. like all the like it's. It, there was a really great description before when you said it. You, if you drop a rock, it just goes thunk. Yeah. It took a long and time to just, write that, by the way. Like, Thank hey, you. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we're, really detail, you. Spencer, <laughs> we're really proud of you, Spencer. Spencer, we're really proud of you. Once you once you I get wrote the letter. <laughs> once you get above the clouds, there's no more trees. There's just scrub and yeah. rock and and let's uh, desolate cactus. Yeah. We're like above the tree line. Yeah, no trees. The plants aren't getting no trees. The right. But there are ants. Are, is there snow? Is like what's the ground covered in? It's there like is, a light dusting is. of snow. This right? is a uh, plateau of ice. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> ice. Okay. Is, so, oh. I, so listen, I'll push myself. Probably off. glacier. 
I'll push myself off of Viv a little bit, and like shudder, like shudder, like. Where do you where do you push off? I, uh, I mean, his hands are probably at my hip. Oh, careful, oh, careful. careful. I'm, I'm actually pretty tall, but that's careful. Okay. <laughs> I settle down, buddy. Careful. Is, uh, or, or I says careful. <laughs> I am. Um, I extricate myself oh, from, you do. from her okay. hug. Oh man! Tenderly. Yes, you do. And look at her and say, "I think we're gonna need you on this one, lass. Mm. So, let me give you a little bit of something to bolster yourself against whatever that is." <laughs> yeah. And I lay my hand on her Where forearm. Where do you lay your, your hand on her? On her forearm, oh. of pervert. <laughs> um, and I cast a, uh, uh, I cast forbidding ward. So you have a plus one to your armor class cool. and saving throws against whatever that thing is. Orak, you see this, and he buffs your sister. Ora, well, he's a little bit weird, isn't he? <laughs> it's purely, but, but it's you purely feel professional. Better. It's purely okay. professional. Uh, it's purely... <laughs> all right, I'll let it go. Purly pro- <laughs> Sorry. So it's okay. plus one to all AC and saving throws? Uh, plus one to all AC and saving throws against whatever shot that ass Whatever that is. Yep. Okay. And I'll move myself towards the back... Okay, yeah. it, it extends beyond that, so you can... Yep, that's fine. Just, just, say. just try to moderate yourself with the five-foot squares. I've got you. Yeah. I've got your backs, friends. Mm. Do what you have to do to get us forward. Orok. Well, before we went, I cast... Was that a new spell? Oh, that's, that's, that's just a cantrip, actually. Oh, okay. Have you cast it before? Mm-mm. Huh? There's a there star. Hey! Brought to you by Star Cards. The only cards is stars. First gotta, edition. <laughs> gotta remind me Wanna of stars. Want to the stars, kid? <laughs> <clears throat> well, before we got into initiative, I was able to get off Fleet Step on my sister, which gives her a 30-foot bonus to her speed. That's true. But does it do it stealthily? I don't know. But it was she the doesn't first, really time care. Care. <laughs> first time I've cast that spell. Oh, okay. There, oh, there is another spell, the star card. Collected these. By the way, uh, we are using the loaded dice roller star cards. And here is the... The, oh. the rules mm. yeah, oh, nice. that, nice. that come with the, the deck itself. You'll find this uh, on their Facebook page. That's and how you Instagram. use it. There you go. Nice. So easy. It, it, it just benefits the game. And uh, I think I'm going to uh, use two actions to enlarge myself. Okay. Stand back, guys. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. We have a sound effect. Wow, was he, oh, was he tearing oh, out of man. his flesh? Sounds like the most painful oh. spell ever. It's, al- <laughs> it's also the first time I've done that, but, you know, I don't know if I get another star for one round. Was oh, of course you do. <laughs> oh, that sounds like star that prostitution is, right oh, there. That oh, is. And Kurt knows how to do it. casting cool. <laughs> wait, wait, can we rewind? How did he get two stars for that? Because he cast he a spell He did the first cantrip, and then he did a spell. It's three actions. I did one before, and then I did Oh, uh, and then there's the one. Oh, like but then he moved. He can't move. He can't move. Can't move, no, baby. No, no, that, was, that was the round before. Oh, the round. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's okay, very good. Oh, did we all get a free round before? Mm. Just Kurt. Just Kurt. Mm. He's special. Quick. I cast Quick. four more cantrips that I've never cast before <laughs> in that opening round. Don't worry. Whatever happens, I'll be on the front line. Mm-hmm. Therms. Lola, fly up and come to me. So that's, I command her to do that. And She then- looks a little wounded. She's a little different when she comes back. Some of her metal. Because she is a clockwork crow. It's a little, it's kind of rusted. You've never quite seen that before. It's a little, just, uh, you know, it's not, looks like it's not curable. You should fix her, dwarf. Don't send her to die. Looks like it's permanent damage. Oh, oh no! Because it's acid on a construct. Ooh! Ooh. But what if she dies? Can he magically just re- 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 reincarnate her? You kill your familiar? Oh, Spence, you're doing the first <laughs> And then you kill it, and then it, no, you I'm get another familiar question. <laughs> it, it comes back, but it wouldn't come back at yeah, the so construct. It takes a, a D6 again. of damage for, like, for a minute, basically, right. until so it's, it's put like out. familiar what? cemetery. Yeah, it's, it's basically a D6 every round until you put it out. Oh it's, my it's, god. It's, so it's, it's a flat check, though, depending what DC you on, put it On at. its turn, right? On its turn, yeah. Oh, here's another six points of damage. It's permanent. Damn. To the clockwork. Six! Damn. So it's taken 17 hit points of damage that no, cannot be... From this acid arrow. Yeah. Wait, ev- every turn it's taking this now? Yeah. Going forward? Yeah, until you figure out how to... It's done 17 total so far? Yep. How to diminish it. Oh, wait. I wonder if I've got... Wait, you're Uh-oh. bringing her back? 
Rot row. Uh, no. Well, I, I have it loaded her up with spells. So I, I did not imagine her. this would ever happen just as a DM. You can never expect. She was 80 feet up, too, but that's okay. All right, uh, she's, the she's back. Goes, she's back. It goes right 118 now. left. No, no, I got you. I got you. She's back. All right, so do. Did Thurman, I mean, obviously he saw where this came. Um, is it about 120 feet away? Or you just how? saw it come out of the ice. Just saw it come. You saw a little creature with wings come out of the ice and go right like back from in. from the floor? or Yeah. With my other action, then I'm going to cast uh, shield on myself. Okay. But did your bird try to uh, make the save on the acid? He did. Uh, she didn't. It's the flat oh. check. It's up to you, I think, Spence. What I you love see it. Yeah, do it. She didn't. <laughs> What'd you roll? Not a one. <laughs> Not a one. Better than a one, less than a twenty. <clears throat> um, <laughs> make less than three. Ooh. It's actually just a flat check. It's, it's just roll the die, whatever the number is. Yeah, you did. Spencer. Well, it's a three. It's a, three. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a flat <laughs> fail, is what that is. <laughs> Come on, be nice to Lola. It's a flat piece of <laughs> is what it is. Lola, you'll be okay. Yeah, she's comforted by your voice. Okay, so Eugenie is going to look for... These are all to scale on, uh-huh. on the board. Okay. Yep. So and by you, the way, the walls... We're, we're talking about the map right now. Bigger, the right? walls on the side mm-hmm. go up. Mm-hmm. Like, up, like up, up, yeah, up. you okay. cannot... You, if like, you, we're in a valley or a cat, Very like, okay. straight up climb. Crab, crevasse or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eugenie, Probably split by an earthquake. Eugenie is going to move to behind this structure right here. Oh, Mel, let's roll for earthquake. 100, there is an earthquake. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, you move over to that little thing. So that would be one action, I suppose. So you, that, are you going for total cover, half cover? We In, in Pathfinder 2E, well, you, you can play a third cover. We Thank you, no earthquake. But in this in, in our house rules, you either do half cover or full cover. It's too hard to describe the one third cover. So are you half cover or full cover? Full cover means you cannot do anything. Just as pot belly. Uh, I can, I'll take half cover, I mean, because it looks like it's way off in the distance. I, it's more just in case like anything else should come raining in. And I'd like to see... We'll make a perception check perception as well. Perception check, we'll do. Oh. Uh, that will be an 18. Okay, see this little shine? Uh-huh. For, for some reason, as you're going over, you kind of look behind you, and you see in the sky a dim, like, shine. Right. In, in the middle of the sky or from... Far behind you. Like, I'm talking... Back the other way. Yeah. Reverse. As you kind of take cover, uh-huh. you look behind you, and you see, like, a little... You catch, like, a little glimmer of, like, something that's very shiny in the sky. So, like, up in the air. Uncle Varus, do you see that in this? I try to point out to him what uh, that sparkle in the sky might have been. I said, we might have company. Do I see it? Uh, you have to take time to turn around and try and perceive it. Behind us? It's behind us? Yeah, yeah he, he took uh, cover. So like he from over he ran high. over to that thing, and then he, as he did it, he just got a great perception so we'll check, say, and he like, saw a little gleam. Back, call, to, back to the wall okay. or whatever. Call him an ancient alien theorist. I, I don't know what you want to call him. Aliens? <laughs> ancient <laughs> aliens. aliens. While this is happening, Can yeah. I, it's my turn? It's your turn. I run up. It's all right. Ahead of my brother. It's pretty good. It's a 26. And I go ahead and... You see it. No, 20, uh, 23, take sorry. Take out my or neck splitter and just kind of like ready action. Oh, and by the way, you no, guys... No, I'm just kind of like running up. You guys to, do see these Jim McLeod originals, but they are, they are they're, they're gentlemen in cloaks and they have white face and you can only see the eyes, but they are... You, you see them in one of the structures and you see them on top of one of the... You, you've noticed. So you see them. You've actually been seeing them throughout your journey, like these these guys in capes, mm-hmm. and you point it out to your fellow, but then they disappear and you can't quite tag them. So Uncle Rollis would be yeah. very freaked out by them yeah. because he thinks that they're linked to the vision. You've been noticing them an awful lot, but every time you turn around, but this time, they're staying. They've stayed. Go, Nat, what are these things? <laughs> go, go, Nat bailed. failed, right? He bailed. Go, 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 go Nat is halfway go. down the castle. Go, Nat is halfway down the mountain. that I saw off in the air, like, from way back He's like, like, see ya. Good, good luck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a little different. And Uncle Walsh, you do look back, and Mel, you can do your thing. Uh, you moved, but now you have two actions, right? I know. And um, you, oh, man. You, uh, you notice a little gleam in the sky. And it's moving really fast. Towards us? Of yeah. course. Towards us. Yeah. And I'll yell out. I mean, is speaking a free action in this? Is it okay? Sure. Okay. Incoming? In, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to yell. <laughs> Friends, incoming from behind us. I'm going to go ahead and get my javelin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh go oh ahead boy. and grab the javelin and try and 
puncture the ground as hard as I possibly can to shatter the yeah. to try and shatter the ice okay. and uh, get a little bit of leverage so All I right. can hold on to something. A twenty, so you I can critical the ice, which may have. Ter- terrible problems. Uh-oh. A fumble, you don't do it at all, and you attack yourself. So I'm looking for like uh, a 10 good, to 15. Great. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. What was it? It's a natural 20. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Tamer through the ice. I can reach her. She's 10 nice. feet away. Yeah. Let's, wait, wait, wait. Let's see what happens. He's, like, he's got the fine. critical chart. Oh, wait. wait, yeah, that's a crit. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, it. let's go ahead and roll is that a star? what you do. It's like the third natural 20. Should I mention we it is a star? <laughs> We've got Thank a special you, guest here tonight. Like loaded dice rollers. We have a special guest at Loaded Dice Rollers. My friend, looking at, uh, my at friend Eric Williamson. Eric Williamson. Thank you, Eric. Thanks for the kidney. Does he have a Should nickname? Do, do Critical nickname? Uh, Huggy Bear. Huggy yeah, Bear. I call him Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear is coming in. So Eric is a is an experienced role player and DM himself. She's going to... Oh, nice. And, and we, plays in a home game that we've been playing for close ooh. to 20 years now. Wow. Actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Are you Same guys game? as geeky as us? Uh, yeah, we played in 3.5. Really? <laughs> uh, we are a, a gigantic group of nerds. Nice. And Eric actually <laughs> will be in that home campaign. He'll be taking over as DM one of these years when we... Pass oh, the torch. Yeah. Yes. No, we should laugh I'm about it. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> oh, there we go. Feel free to lean down under the mic over here. We need to get um. Yeah. There, you have to get close in. In the McLeod Ale. So mm-hmm. she attacked the what? The ice on top of water yeah. and did a critical hit. You were basically just trying to make like a or did a you perch did or like you fumble or something like that? No, she critically hit it. I attacked no. the darkness. <laughs> no, but I mean, why is that a bad thing? I don't know yet. I, we will find out. Oh my God! Wait, which one's which? Okay. Ooh, that sounds pretty bad. That's a piercing weapon, or what'd you use? A javelin? It's a javelin. Yeah, piercing. For a critical hit for an 80. Split knee. Nope, that's the wrong one. But that's a fumble. We're talking (laughs) about critical hit. Torn shoulder. Negative one to combat. Why? Are we going the other way? For a critical hit. You want okay. Damn it. So Mel, what yeah. happens? The target. Thank you. Thank you. So Mel, you 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 puncture the ice, but what it does is it causes a, a small a fissure, back, yeah. which is it's kind of cool. But the permafrost is really deep here. Mm-hmm. This is like a glacier. Yeah. I mean, and so the the mound in front of you caves in. So please use an athletics check to get out of the way. Okay. Uh, she's. Are we talking about I'm this mound right here? Like yeah. Are, well, are you removing I was it from trying the board? to put it. Is the javelin still stuck in the No, it's free. Ice? It's free. Oh, so I just stabbed it for nothing? Yeah, basically. That's not fun, Tom. It was a nice <laughs> gesture. It was a nice gesture. <laughs> ice gesture. I'm killing all ice. these rolls today. Oh, oh, this uh, you want to kill this 28. one. 28. Yeah, that's good. Come on over. You get out of the way. Square. No yeah. problem. But you should completely shatter that mound in front of you. The monster's next. So it travels very fast through the ice. The wizard, Please. you still have the, the crow? I do. All right, it's going to attack Lola. Wow. What's going to attack Lola? Uh, it does magic missile. Magic missile. Magic Wait, missile. what is this that's attacking Lola? Uh, we don't know yet. The, this right? creature that kind of appears ab- right Where? below Thurman. This ice About ten, 10 feet out. <laughs> oh, he goes, below me? He goes, boof. He actually moves pretty quick. So he gets one magic missile on the bird. Magic Four missile. plus one, five. Oh, dear. Five points. How many hit points does the bird have? Thirteen. It months. had thirty-five to start. It's, it's it's still it's not looking great, but it's still alive. It's still alive. Yeah. Okay. The acid I'm more concerned about. And uh, you you see this creature, Tom? It's head uh, about six inches big, has big floppy ears. It looks like it's almost the color of ice. And he goes, <laughs> and he zaps your your bird with a magic missile. It just like popped up out of the ice. So he's not like an adorable ice rabbit or anything like that. He kind of looks that way. Uh. Yeah. Oh, damn ugly thing. Where is it? He's, he's under the ice somewhere. Did yeah. he, did he I'm, disappear I'm or is he still up? No, he he's should be up. up. Yeah, right? He's, he's still up, right? 15 feet out from Tom. Yeah. Oh. oh, I can get him. His head's just out. So he's partial Oh, covered. I think we can all get him now. He's half cover. Fuck that guy. Mm. He says to you guys, he says... You shouldn't be here. Tom. But we are here. And you're going to pay. Let me show you the way out. Oh, I'll show you the way out. Right through hell. <laughs> you're going to die. Not before you die, you ugly bastard. Maybe true, maybe true. I, chatty as well. I don't think this is helping the situation, Annie. <laughs> Whose it can, turn it is can, it? It can talk. Maybe it can be reasoned with. What do you know about reason? I know quite a bit about it. If you want to have a discussion, 
We're just passing through if you let us. By the way, did you see that silver thing in the sky coming at you? Eugenie, like while this is going on, every so often he was like casting an eye back over to see if whatever it was is getting it's closer. It's getting closer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we established that. I, it's it's traveling like thousands of miles yeah. an hour. Oh, like, shit. It's <laughs> literally like, like, yeah, like nah, what, what a, is that? <laughs> is that you? I would like to hit it. Are we still playing games we fighting? Shouldn't be here. That thing shouldn't be here. D- oh, by the way, you you take uh, four more points of acid damage to the bird. Oh, how much? You don't four want more. that to be here. Is that what you're saying? You shouldn't be here. Can I hit it? This is it? my home. But what about the silver thing? I don't know what that is. Oh. Did you bring it? No. no is that is done with you? No. Well, maybe we can work together to figure out what it is. Maybe. You hurt my bird. Interesting magic person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what yes. About He's an interesting magic, magic person. person. You have did, a light to learn from each other, Did perhaps. he bring the silver thing in the sky? No. None of us are responsible Why for are the you silver here? thing in the sky. Why are you here? We're passing through. Can I, can can I, I cast can charm? Can I do something? <laughs> can I do something? Can I cast charm on him? And can I, can I run up to him? Are we going to commercial? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we can go to commercial. Everybody stay where they are. This is my place. We will stay if you heal my bird. I can't do that. The acid is working on it. Unfortunately. Can't you call off the acid? Can you dismiss the spell, my friend? Can I charm him? That's a lot of questions. I mean, you can, you can try and charm. I would like to charm him. All right, if I see Aura cast. What, what sp- type of charm are you using? Oh, it's um, well, it's called a charm spell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's really great. Yeah. But does it work on humanoid or it's a animal or it's a creature? It Any creature. Creature. It's a DC twenty two will save. Thirteen. He missed it. Okay. Well then, um, you're gonna become friendly towards me, and helpful. He flies and, over to you and looks at you. Nice. Do I know you? Where do I know you from? I want... I, you I, look I, like the giants that lived here. Except your teeth are pointy on the bottom. And your skin is green. Theirs was blue. What is your name, bird? My name is G. G. Like the letter, but it's J-I-G. G. What are you, G? It's a remarkable smart. What kind of creature I can you? fly in the ice. Yeah, it's a m- remarkable. What are you? <laughs> I can use magic. Yes. I've noticed. I am warning you. This is not a good place to be. No, we know. We need your help to get through it. Will you help us? I can only help you so much. Yes. But you can help us for an hour. I would like to know your friend that casts magic better. All right. I can can introduce you to him. His bird is inferior. Maybe. Maybe you can help him make it better. Maybe. It's rusting away. It took... Two more points of damage. Can you help me, please? <laughs> Brett. Please, can you help Seven it? left. You have to neutralize the acid. How do you do that? I'm not sure. You have to have neutralized acid. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. Does anybody have it? How long? How many rounds? Six rounds? A minute. Yep. Oh, a minute. Jesus. What is it? Six, which is, six uh, rounds. Ten rounds. Um, ten rounds, actually. Ten rounds. Oh, God. Six seconds per round. Take us to a safe place in there. Let's put our defense. This is as safe as it gets. Really? Okay, so hold on. Spencer. Mm-hmm. This is a little outside the box. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give it a try. Yep. And I want to give the credit for this, if anybody's listening, to a great webcomic. Uh-oh. D20Monkey.com. <laughs> oh, great webcomic. D20Monkey. One of their characters just used this spell in a very unorthodox manner. Uh-oh. And I'd like to use it on Cheater. Lola, if possible. Uh, no, we no. have, we have I, DMs in the area. That this is called cheating. I'd like to say... That's <laughs> the digitation. I'd like to say for the record, uh, he did allow it. And it does... The target of this is one creature. Okay. So... I would like to use restoration mm-hmm. on Lola, and the exact wording of the spell is restorative magic counters the effects of toxins or conditions that prevent a creature from functioning mm. at its best. When you cast restoration, choose to either reduce a condition or lessen the effects of a, tox- a toxin. A creature can benefit from only one restoration spell each All day. All right, nice. So we'll say half damage uh, on the remaining Moving forward. acid, but you would need, there's very specific stuff that takes away the. Acid. Acid burning your skin. Fair, fair enough. I just I, so I half prayed, damage. I pray deeply to Farazman. Say please, he'll instead of a quick death. He'll this bird made a gears and 
Exactly. We he has a clockwork. Because I don't understand crow. it, but he obviously loves it quite a bit. So let my friend let my friend not choke his bird. <laughs> <laughs> don't choke the bird. I don't want him to choke the bird. <laughs> okay. I can G, choke the bird if G, you want. How do we how do we get through this passage? I don't G, mind. Can you guide us through here without us getting killed? Yes, I can. All right. Where should we go first? How long does your charm work for? Oh, an hour. Are you skillful at being stealthy? I can fly into the ice. I, I cannot. <laughs> ice isn't I make no sound flying into the ice. Oh, that's impressive. But we cannot. We have to He walk. pops up 100 feet away. See? Jesus. <laughs> Are you saying we should hide? You need to be quiet. All right, I'm going to kill this thing. No. Oh, and then the, uh, the bird behind you, uh, or the, uh, the, the, the ray of sun behind you, the, the gleam that you guys keep getting, catches up with you finally. Yeah. I'm trying to find a... Uh, ruh ro. <laughs> <laughs> And it sticks in front of you, Eugenie. And it, uh, it looks like it's silver and it's uh, a bird. Looks kind of like a raven. And it has a, uh, it has a message for you. Dear Fellowship, this is your fellow paladin from the Thickhorn group at Rogue Guards. Remember, we had a terrific meal together. Well, we've made it to Meshlo's Keep and I'm... I'm afraid things aren't going well. All the help was slain, and two of my fellow adventurers. It was only I and the half-orcs that traveled up the face of the mountain to discover the keep. Once we got here, well, the half-orcs were slain in traps. Probably set by the owner. I send this message as some strange small creatures too numerous to count close in on my location. I hope to live and have another drink with you, Caden Kaelin Champion. May Caden's good luck be with you. And I am at a speed. Sincerely, Sir Reckhart. Postscript. You never asked my name. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> you bastards. You never asked wow. for his name. He he's, was kind of a jerk. Yeah, yeah, really. I wasn't too much of a fan. So he was an asshole. <laughs> so wait, did, was it just me who heard that? It was like, like broadcast to everybody. Uh, no, no, it, like, it's broadcast to everybody. Like, okay, you, cool. should, you should grab that bird. I'm just saying. He's not going to need it. And then it, 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 it <laughs> dims into a little light and mm-hmm. goes the, back the direction that it came. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Uh, so the, all of a sudden, all of a sudden. Uh, oh, that means he's probably still alive, actually. Maybe. Did the and bird take off, you're saying? The bird yeah, took did. off and went back? Oh, he's yeah. probably alive. And y- Eugenie. Uh, so the, Eugenie, like, all of a sudden is very careful of where he steps. He's looking around because he realizes, like, this could very well. Also, he didn't. Dis- I wish that he described the the hundred the creatures that were closing in. Oh, on you him. caught that. That's yeah, good. Wondering if this is one of them. I'll give you a star I, for catching some information. Nice. Yeah, this is like a. But Spencer, <laughs> I want to make sure with this charm spell. I, this I want to keep this creature around us to help us guide us through the do this like and avoid whatever dangers are. So how how does charm? Yeah, how he's does, around. How does charm work? Will he's, it only like be charmed by to you, or will it be charmed to our entire party? Well, he's helpful, and if I tell him to be helpful to you, he'll be helpful to you. Okay, just don't yep. hit him. So, is it, uh, <laughs> yeah. so don't Spencer, I, slash the ice anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Spencer, I bash him in the face immediately with no. The ice. That's my okay, job. So I breaks the spell to this ice fox swimmer thing. I whatever it is. <laughs> is a a friend. <laughs> are are you alone up here? No. How how many more of you are there? Oh, of me, there are a few. Okay. Are they also friendly? What is dangerous up here? Uh, we're protective. Fair, fair enough. I don't know if we're friendly. So fair enough. Walrus is still cold and getting a bit frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, frostbitten? Is it's like quite you cold. Janie, ask him where the keep is. Let's get inside, please. I, I thought that was keep. Was that not keep? Uh, I no, think. that. My friends used to live there. Who are your friends? They're very tall. Like your friend. Giants. Taller than my friend, a little bit. So the so the uh, this this frost giant well, is not the keep of which we seek. It's just like a highlight on the way. Or is, it, is, or is it the keep? You have it's to be quiet. You guys have been speaking no, no, was, very loud. <laughs> that was in character. That was. He like, hasn't had. He's had a few drinks. I like your friend. 
I'm just going to finish out the damage from the acid for the, the minute, okay? <laughs> uh, it's half, just it's half, it's half. moment so I can... Here we go. It's half damage. Guys, maybe we should can just we try and walking? sneak around. Yeah. Oh, boy, uh, I rolled we, well. Can we cross over this oh, thing? No, it's 21. Wait, 20, 21 it, and a half. No, it's a, Ten. It's, a, it's a D6 of acid per round. Yeah, I just, I just spent the whole minute. Oh, gotcha. So, 10 more points of damage. Where's Lola? Negative three. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. It's okay. All right. Good thing I blew that spell. <laughs> Can I? He you picks it up and he goes, "I'm it. sorry. I'm sorry." Thurman, 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 Thurman. I walk over. I walk over. Someone take a picture of this. Take a picture. I'm gonna die now. Thurman, Thurman. Fucking shoot. Three, five, three, uh, three. But before you do, he goes. He goes. I'm gonna kill the. Thing right now. <laughs> oh, God. Tom's you die. I don't give you a fuck. You killed my family. My only family. <laughs> and now I'm going to rip you to shreds, you little <laughs> ugly you beast. You should have seen the look Tom had. Oh, we all saw it. We felt it from over here. Oh, yeah. all right. I, I think listen to Three magic missile bullet burst at the mother. <laughs> <right here. laughs> well, that breaks the Whoa. charm spell, right? Oh, yeah. Charm spells. <laughs> Four, six. <laughs> <laughs> and four, ten points of damage. Oh, shit. It's a, He's like, great, I have 130. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, next thing oh. it's getting Please there. So you, you fire, fire up a couple of magic missiles, <laughs> tags him. He's like, ow, hey, you charmed me. <laughs> no, I really hate you guys. Didn't, didn't I, know, I know that spell, too. <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, just to be friendly. Hey, can you guys be a little more quiet? Your friend is really loud. All right. Oh, what happened to his bird? Well, it's, got, it's tired. <laughs> oh, it's very it's tired. tired. It's, been a, it's been a long day. It's got a little bit of a stomach problem. A little acid reflux. Tom, you, you have a, uh, an interesting uh, interaction with this creature where it sort of replaces your familiar. And it's an ice method. Oh, and it goes, oh wow. Your friends should respect you more. <laughs> I don't understand you, you ugly creature. What are you? And I what love did you, you do to my familiar? I took his place. I'm better. Eugenie is... He says, uh, I'll carry it along in case we can repair it. Eugenie starts looking at the other members of the party just like in like half confusion, half disbelief. Like, is, is this going to fly? And Walrus will shake the snow, the, the, the <laughs> frost on his mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, take us inside that insufferable structure if you know our way in. You just have to be, you, we have to be quiet. <laughs> then let's be quiet. Stealth over and there. Well, stop talking if you so, Tom, stop moving. If you accept the familiar, it's your new familiar. <laughs> but it's not Lola. They can swim it, in ice, It dude. knew Lola. It's holding Lola. You can it's Lola, Lola adjacent. Lila. It's called an ice method. It's Lola Lila. adjacent. It's a uh, you can name it advanced Lolita. familiar. I accept you for now, then I want Lola back. <laughs> I know you guys can't see us right now, and I'm but just he's very frustratingly he says, writing down the information. Enough, put it this way, listeners. There's enough fire coming out of his eyes to melt <laughs> yeah, the entire glacier that we are on right wild. now. I, I, can't re I can't make the sounds your other bird made. But I can <laughs> smile, and when he smiles, he's, he's like super ugly. <laughs> Lola's getting carried around by the Smithit Mangy, but I think it's an upgrade if you ask me. Oh, it's a Lola. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Methods are great. They, oh my God. they have their own magic, so not only can you cast your magic through them, but they can cast magic as well. It's great. You are an ugly beast. I know. I love you, Daddy. Now get us out of this cold before I break your neck. We yes, have, yes, we have get to be us quiet. Out of the cold. We have right. to be quiet. Uh, I can. W can I just start walking back over to the? I, I, before, before. I love that you haven't even made it across the first ten. <laughs> right, we <laughs> ended the map. Like, we we haven't advanced <laughs> thirty feet. I'm so trying. Before, All right, before so before everybody Viv do a stealth. Moving. Yeah, let's yeah. Before stealth Viv starts stealth. moving. Yeah, I stealth. My, so before Viv starts moving, I put my hand out to her and say, "The oh, message. Um, the who, message wait, who, who, who's got the uh, crappy stealth? I can give you guidance." Anybody? Uh, I'm at plus 12. I'm only I'm at plus, plus 11. 11. Plus 4. Plus okay, 11. Okay, I'll give you a guidance so you get a plus 1. Nice. Before before Viv starts moving, I put my hand out to her and say, the message of one of the trash. I did, What's 24 stealth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stealth roll. Hang on. It's Friday, special Friday night play. 
Uh, that'll be a 30. No, 31. Why are you guys so stealthy? Maybe I just don't 31? 24. 19. I can help you. So now he, is he bonuses you too. Method to his madness or what'd you roll? To his oh no! Fifteen. All right, so uh, Kurt, what'd you roll? Fourteen. You really? I'm oh. big. You oh, guys a little true. loud. Well, you guys, your friends are being too loud. They're trying. I can crawl. The ones with the green skin—they're too loud. It's all of ish. Why are they your slaves? Oh, I this and <laughs> don't call them my slaves. Who are they? They are my family. Family? They, they don't look like friends. you. Really? You don't look like my Lola. I'm not. Shut up, you <laughs> ugly creature, before I snap <laughs> she your goes into freaking the, neck. Into the ice. Okay. <laughs> Eugenie says, can we have this discussion later? Let's move your out, he, he picks his beak out. He goes, you need to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> but your friends aren't you're quiet. You're being too loud. You should have them work on the other side. Walrus, I'm going to kill this animal. No, no, <laughs> let's get inside first before you kill anything, please. We're all freezing to death. We can gotta we, get inside. Can we start moving, please? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Move out. Okay, I'm gonna do a perception check. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll yell up to Orok. <sighs> Against your 14 and 15 stealth. Mm. I'll yell up to Orok, by the way. Do you have to remain... A giant stomping beast while we try to sneak into this structure? God, they're plus 17. I have. Spence, how far is the structure to from what? To perception? Perception. Yeah, what, crazier things have happened. 15. Spence, yeah, okay, how, yeah. how far is the structure from us, roughly? Wait, they rolled a uh, one? It's, oh. it's a half structure. So and you 100. guys, as you're crossing the field, the half orcs make noise. And. It's one of them's gigantic. <laughs> Can't be helped. Yeah, you can complain about that now. Well, well, hold on. Two rocks come well, can in. We, can we well, see how it, far it, we've it, walked uh, before this it, has happened? So yeah, we can get hold, like on, a, hold on. I get the three actions. Before we do this, right? No well, you guys are... That's why I had to roll the stealth, because okay. we were... Oh, we're already we were, doing it. Okay, yeah, we were, fair, enough, fair enough. So what happens is you guys are on your way across, and two giant like ice balls come in. I think it half works, because you guys are the loudest, but I'm going to roll just an off... Shoot, that it's not. Well, should we make our way through? Yeah, can we or? see where we, can we are? Can we place ourselves? Yeah, uh, place in ourselves? stealth, you're probably moving half speed. Yeah, but and we it have is three movements. My it's, half speed's pretty fucking it's fast. It's semi difficult step. terrain. Yeah. It's ice. Mine's still 30. So you'd probably move it like a 20. No, I, no mine's it's, like. It's 45. It's, it's no, why do you have a special feet? Oh, 55. Yeah. She's still got fleet steps. So okay, I'd so. I'm going normally 30. Okay, can you stealth at that rate? Because normally stealth is half speed. Yeah, but that is half. That is half. 60. But but also difficult terrain. So it would probably be at 20? But with right, three that's, movements, that's three times her distance. Right. Yeah. So let's just say you failed you on the first it. move. Oh, I see what you're saying. So That's about right. Where but we are but you, can move, you can move pretty much across I'm the pre- field, yeah, I right? Yeah, I feel like I can 60? move the fastest 60? out you're, of everyone. You're probably ahead, but you probably made the mistake. Yeah, yeah you did. She's moving fast. Here we go. Yeah, um, I'll still be ahead. But one, two, three, and far. you guys are four, five, six. Push me back a little bit. So... Right there, yeah. Six. Boss, there's a big there's a big rock coming in after you. Three. One, two, three. So it comes in after one, two, three, four, five, six. So it comes in after Mel. So Mel and Tom get ambushed by rocks. Uh, <laughs> Alright, here we go. Tom, twenty-four. What's your AC? Twenty uh twenty-two with the shield that's still up, but it might not be up. It's twenty-one. Okay. 21. So it just connected. Ouch. And then Mel? 32. 23. These giant boulders come heaving overhead. Wait, but I have a deny advantage. Foes are to pass your defense. You're not flat-footed, hidden, or undetected from flanking creatures of the level or lower. But you failed your, uh, oh, I failed your check. Okay. Yeah. So in comes... Uh, Two big, huge rocks. Are they flying through the air, or are they, like, rolling along the ground? Snowball fight. (laughs) (laughs) So, Mel, on you, eight plus eight plus nine. Eight plus eight plus nine? Twenty-five. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. Here it goes on. uh, Boss, look out! So I hit 25 damage? Yeah. Boss. I got it. You, you should learn to walk. One, one, plus eight, plus nine. So uh, 18 on Tom. Okay. Boss, look out! Tom 34, mil 58. 
They'll keep throwing them. We got to go. Where are they coming from? Up on the hill. It's by no mistake. You see uh, two frost giants heaving down boulders. Shit. Okay, so well now that now that we're they yell at you. They 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 yell at you as they do. They say. Uh, well, several of us speak Jotun. So. Oh, I yeah. think all of us speak. We all do. Yeah. So Except it translates. You should not be here. Well, we're yeah, here now. We so. know that. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate the news. <laughs> Bow before me, mortals. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> e- Eugenie's going to dash for cover behind the structure from the... Tyshore. From the Frost Giants. F, no. Oh. <laughs> I can't say he's, he's cussing it, you know. Mother. <laughs> so, okay, so they, they see you guys as you clunkily make it across the field. Right. And they chuck run? down these Can boulders. Can we run for the gate? Glacier walls widen out here, making room for several megaliths that project from the now flattened floor of the glacier walls. The mountains plateau out. The winds whistle as they pass over, while stone and ice crunch underfoot in a bizarre silence. About a hundred feet away, you see a pillar... Roll for perception. Behind the pillar is an unnatural fog that blocks the view from the rest of the northern plateau. Oh man, that is intense stuff. So we're rolling for perception, right? You already, you already kind of did. did. Oh, okay. we did. That yeah. was from previously. How far? And how far is the fog? Do you do you say? It clouds after you see this this sort of pillar thing, mm-hmm. it, which looks like a huge sword in the ground. It fogs everything after that. Gotcha. So you're running into like a crazy unnatural fog. The only form of like shelter right now is the like broken down frost giants. Yeah, it's not much. It doesn't offer much, but it's something. Yeah. So I uh, shall feast on your bones. Yeah, I know. It's tasty, but <laughs> small <laughs> meal. Did he say uh, feast on my too. bulge? The <laughs> 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 Jabba. It's Jabba. <laughs> oh, man, they're cousin again. Um, so, I mean, might as well go for the t- one point of shelter right now. From Okay, so you're going to go half cover? Yeah. You're running over there? Yeah, I'm going to... Mel, can you roll by the by chance that their scouter is back? It's a D100 roll. Yeah. <laughs> one. One? Yeah. On a D100? <laughs> yeah, I rolled zero and then zero uh, one is my... I'm just going to show you guys what, what that would no, have no, been. No, had. Oh, or is that your one? Okay. That's gotcha. my Never one. Mind. This okay. is my ten. Okay. Would, have been, would have been a mammoth. Oh. A guy and a mammoth. Oh, shut up. I want That's a their scout. That's cute. There's not much left. Yeah, okay, so you guys... have to fight him. You run take sh- a picture of him? <laughs> probably. Yeah. You would have had to fight yeah, him. I think it would have been worse. It's not a good thing to see a mammoth when you're on the other end of it. So Why cool. do they talk back to you? I'm sorry that I took the roll to one, but... That's what friends can do. Friends. That's a new concept. <laughs> <laughs> friends listen to friends. Okay, so we're You all... will teach me much. You killed Lola. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I will break your neck. Are the you from... Down below. I've always wanted to see it. I think that it'll be nice and fun to see green. And I'm going to <laughs> dimension door you into a mountain. And rocks will break your brain. How about that? Well, right here it would just be ice, so I could just fly right back out. But that makes good sense. I killed your friend. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Are they having this whole conversation while we're running yeah. from the yes. flying yeah. boulders? <laughs> it's like the odd couple. <laughs> Get us out of this mess, you creature. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if your friends weren't so darn loud, <laughs> it would, it would <laughs> be fine. Oh, they're going to throw more rocks. Shit. Oh, Having God. To the can we, by this can point? We, wait, can we get cover? I mean, All right, just, I'm going to... 19. Yeah. Oh, my God. Their initiative is at 36. We got to get the f*** out of here. I, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's oh, get we run. Let's, we're running. We're running. Well. Okay. I think they're going to get one more round of attacks. Are we going to run? You, where do you want to go? I've never, like, been past, I've never been past the arches. Actually, that pillar might set you on fire. What? With this one right here, yeah, it likes to light things on fire. Friend, stop! And I'm gonna have all. Our, I'm gonna have everyone stop, and I'm gonna cast invisibility sphere, Ooh. which is going to make us all invisible instantaneously. Ooh. Okay, is everybody around, Tom? Yeah, we're all in the, like a like a. Yeah. How long? Yeah, how, how, how far is that sphere? Well, if it's within. 15 is that a first? Feet. Is that a first time thing? Yeah, yeah. It's a first time. Nice. Thing. Nice, Tom. Star. Pulling through in the clutch. I feel like giving Tar- Tom a star for getting a new familiar. 
It's, 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 it's you're the GM. You can do what you want. Uh, you know, you should uh, get a star when she comes back. It's only it's for ten minutes, but it's only ten feet around me. A method's way ten better. Ten feet around ten you. Feet. Oh, so you, Jenny, just step inside. Okay. Well, ten wait. feet around you. How tall are you, Orak? Yeah. Right now? Well, it's, it's not about height. It's, it's just just about, within ten feet. Okay, within so it's more feet. like an invisibility column. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're right. Okay. Ooh. Sorry. That's fine. See that guy? I was here when the pillar became active, and then he froze like that. He froze like that? I can't believe he made it up this far. He's a pillar. I shot him twice. They're people. <laughs> yeah. How quiet do we have to be in this invisibility? I think they've already seen you. Where are we going? We're walking into the fog. I can I see? It's gonna be the, can I see everybody in a uh, yeah. invisibility? Any, anyone in the sphere? As long as we're walking close together, we see. It's, we see each other. So it's like an invisibility fence. Hi, Scooby Doo. <laughs> and it lasts for ten. It lasts for ten minutes as well. So it lasts for wow. quite a bit. You're time. much more powerful than my last master. Did your last master have a familiar that you killed as well? Can we have this discussion later? Oh God! I no, he just summoned like me. This ugly beast. <laughs> he just summoned me. <laughs> All right, so you guys sneak in. I'm just going to make the off chance uh, preview of an invisibility. Brett, is that still at 40? Perception? Oh, of um, yeah, I, I don't know actually how that works. But I mean, they have, is it, are, are they in snow? Well, they, yep. they, they would have heard see footprints too, obviously, by the way. Oh, Well, hold damn. on. Look how far away they are as well. Well, so. is this a oh, too? Oh, damn. Oh. And, and, and we There's stopped. Footprints. And we stop to get invisible, so... True. You know what? Brett's right. This is a really good point to sort of <laughs> stop this episode and maybe come back with it. Are you, I'm excited to see what happens. This is like a cliffhanger. Is this a cliffhanger? I mean, we've already jumped over the crevasse, so oh, I mean, unless more uh, could come along. Oh, crevasse hanger. Is that what... Tom, we, so we killed what, Lola. We killed uh, Lola. I didn't mean to well, do that. We is a very broad statement. <laughs> That's okay. I, okay. I, I was not emotionally Spencer attached. is putting his head in his hands right I, now. I, I feel terrible. Personally, I know that crow is all that Tom had. Tom still looks really traumatized right now. I, I know. It's all it. Thurman had. You know what? Literally all Thurman it, had. Honestly, methods are great. Yeah. They're, they're the best familiar you can have. Yeah. So yeah. maybe it's just a door. Yeah, one door closes. Right. Another yeah. open? Yeah. Maybe opens. tonight we eat crow. Uh, wow. It's metal crow. Yeah, it's Next metal crow. You're it's gonna metal, be crow. metal for a while. <laughs> We're doing it live. We're doing it live. Don't miss out. Press that subscribe button. Find us on Facebook and Instagram at Loaded Dice Rollers and at Gia McClouds. <laughs>